my major interest is about immune system which is a, a defense system in the body which takes care of fighting infections and control cancer transformation of cells. Chronic infections are known to cause cancer and cancer is a huge burden in our society. About 20 percent of all cancers are attributed to some sort of chronic infections. Some of the prime examples of chronic infections that cause cancer are human papilloma virus which may cause cervical cancer uh, and helicobacter pylori which may cause stomach cancer and also some of the hepatitis B virus or hepatitis C virus infections that are causing liver cancer. We hardly know the mechanisms how these chronic infections can transform these normal cells in our body into cancer cells. Therefore, if we have effective therapies against these infections and have effective vaccines against these infections, we can definitely reduce the burden of cancer developed due to these chronic infections. Another important aspect of our studies is there are reports that uh, males with vi chronic viral uh, hepatitis C virus infection are prone to develop cancer while as the females are protected um, they are able to only have uh, they can resolve the infection. However, when they are po become postmenopausal, this virus re gets reactivated and causes chronic infection. So there is definitely an hormonal influence on how we deal with this virus, whether in males or in females. We are focusing on the you know, um, you know, the immune system, the modulation of immune system by hormones during uh, infectious disease process so that we can target those molecules for effective therapies, um, for um, having novel therapies for resolving infection and uh, not uh, lead, le letting it develop into chronic infection.